All right, y'all, so I want to tell y'all a story about uh, one of the times where I was struggling in life. I was building my first business. Um, for those of y'all who don't know, my first business was a bell bonding business. So it's me and my friend Richard out there in Montgomery, Alabama. Alternative Justice Bell Bonds, you can look us up back then. Uh, this is about, what, 12, 13 years ago. And uh, we were building this business out. And during that time, we didn't have any money, okay? All the money we had was going into marketing and ads and, you know, getting to and from the jail to pick up, pick up clients. And we had been sleeping on, the mat on air mattresses in the basement of the, of the office for months at that point. And we had found a restaurant called The Olive Room in Montgomery, Alabama. So The Olive Room was down the hill uh, from our office. And uh, they had a shrimp and grits meal. I think it was $12 at that time. And so we would save up our little money here and there. And uh, we would go to Olive Room and get that shrimp and grits. And so we did this a couple times. And one day, I was like, I, talk, I talked to Rich. I said, Rich, you know, their menus, this is a really great place. It's really beautiful. The food's amazing. But their menus are terrible. You know, what? what we should do something about this. Now, we didn't have any money, but I had some skills, right? I knew how to do a little something on, on it wasn't even Photoshop, it was like, this is pre, I didn't have Photoshop on my computer, but it was like Microsoft Paint or something, I don't know. It was some way I could edit uh, some images. So I made a menu, I took the menu that I saw them have, I put everything on that menu, on this new menu, I made it nice and glossy and dark green, because it's called Olive Room with a picture of the Olive Room in front, with photos and everything, the phone number. And I, I went to FedEx, King, FedEx Kinko's at that time, and I, um, what did I do? I printed out 50 copies, okay? Now I had read about this in Think and Grow Rich, you know, of doing something for other people. So I, uh, I gave them, we go back to that, that restaurant like a few days after that, and we give them those 50 copies of, of uh, the menu. Now keep in mind, we didn't have no money. We didn't have no money for food, we was hungry all the time. You know, usually when we didn't have the money to eat at, at uh, Olive Room, we would go to Publix and go to the grocery store and eat samples. That's what we would do for lunch, you know. So we, was, we were young. We were 21, 22 years old, so we didn't have nothing. And uh, we gave them those 50 menus, and you know what they did? They let us eat for free for one month. You know, it was sometimes I get emotional to think, think about it, you know, like how hard we were struggling to win and – you know, how bad we wanted to win, how bad we wanted success. And that generosity gave us, it unlocked something for us. We got to eat. We got to eat two, two times a day at a luxury restaurant. And so what we did with that was we began to learn about uh, the political scene there. We got to learn about, you know, more other businessmen and women there. And we got to network a lot. And we got to learn about, you know, high-end food and, and wine. You know, we started... They were giving us wine all the time. So like, hey, this wine is like this. Malbec is like this. Merlot is like this. You know, Cabernet Sauvignon, Cabernet Sauvignon is like this, 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 and that. And so they explained all these things for us. And so because we gave what we had, which was some creativity, uh, and we solved a problem. We solved a problem for somebody. All right? They solved a problem for us. All right? We solved a menu problem for them. They solved a food problem for us. All right? Just because we saw, uh, well, one, we were being generous, but two, we, we solved a problem. Right, and so because of that that menu, we began to build a relationship. Richard went on to uh, we got out of both got out of bell bonding. His second business was a hookah bar, and he wound up buying a lot of uh, the old appliances that were in that the Olive Room when the Olive Room went out of business. The Olive Room went out of business years later, but because we built that relationship but from those menus, he was able to do those things for his second business. And we were able to meet people like the mayor of Montgomery. We were able to, um, we were able to do a lot of things because of that. And so what I want to leave you all with is, is that you never know what, by solving a problem for somebody else, you never know how they can help you in the future. And so uh, I really enjoyed my time going to Olive Room a lot. And it gave me the necessary confidence to uh, try more creative things, you know, solve more problems. That's all we're here in this world to do, y'all. We're here to solve problems. And the more problems you solve, especially if you're solving for people um, who, who, who are thirsty or hungry for the problems you solve, they can pay you for that. All right, so I hope y'all like that story about the Olive Room. Um, I liked it. It was fun to do. I, I, we did it. We did that. We gave them those menus not expecting anything. And it gave us a whole lot more than a few plates of food. 
Hat er gesagt, nicht. Hat er gesagt, ja, sind. 